I started coming to the Young Writers Programme when I was 18. I think, yeah, I was 18. It was my first year of university. And then I wrote my first play when I was 19. And I sent it in to the theatre and then they decided to, to put it on. So I, yeah, I mean, I've been, it's kind of, it's an emotional place for me for that reason. My early work completely has been done here. And I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be a writer if it wasn't for here, without a doubt. Like that, there's no uncertainty in my mind about that. So it's yeah, it's a very important place for me and for new writing generally. I don't think without this theatre, just half the new work in England like wouldn't exist. Maybe more. Having never thought you'd be a writer, never having dreamt of it really, seeing your own work, seeing something that was in your head, kind of move around on a stage, in front of you, having you know, being in a place that makes your thoughts real, that was definitely a game changer. I think what I really love about here as well is, you know, there's the young writers, the building there, and the writers building type thing. And then you have sort of the sets made here and the plays go on here, it all happens like a kind of pirate ship. It's all on deck, it all happens around here. And I think that's really incredible. I know I felt really emotional coming back here today. I was like, oh, it smells the same. I think it has a ruthless commitment to new work and to risk taking. You know, they, they really actually do what they say on the tin, which a lot of places don't. You know, go out, find the writers, support the writers, chase the writers, you know, develop the writers into doing more work. And finding people who wouldn't ordinarily be an obvious candidate. They're not out to make money, They're not out to make a hit. They don't give a fuck. That's what's really nice. It is actually, it's, it, there's a huge amount of integrity to the stuff that's done here. It's not people pleasing or commercial. And if you don't have spaces like that, you're ultimately not gonna get the next modern classic because it won't be discovered because people will be too busy putting on the old modern classics, won't they? So I think, yeah, total integrity. And a kind of almost like punk, the sort of right to fail attitude here, I think is brilliant. I'm, I'm, it's a place you feel really proud of being associated with. I've actually met two loves of my life here, which is interesting, which seems quite symmetrical, but that's not really to do with the theatre, to do with the plays. But I've met two people that I've fallen totally in love with here. It's got quite a scene as well, the kind of the bar and the thing, and there's a kind of, this sort of social aspect of it, which is so charged because people have seen this amazing work and then kind of talking about it. So I've had some re really like personal amazing moments in this building. I had a lot of fun when they let me have a dressing room for like four weeks. That was good. And then they took it away. A particular moment, I think meeting Harold Pinter here, that was amazing. He came to see my play and I wasn't watching my play. And he, the theatre called me and said, get down, he's watching your play, get down, get down. And I was like, jumped in the cab, I was like, drive! And um, I didn't really have enough time, I thought I was gonna miss him. He was very old, it was quite near to when he died. And my friends, parents really lovingly like stopped him getting in his car in this really intense fashion so like obviously he just wanted to go and then I got down just in time and we talked and I met him and he was wonderful and that was that was a really amazing moment because I was like I was 20 and just the like colliding with your hero like that sort of on the steps of this theatre where your play is on it was really that was kind of incredible. I'd be interested to see generally what the future of theatre is and I would hope that the Royal Court was pioneering that, whether it's sort of more accessibility in terms of technology and screenings and things like that, or taking theatre to spaces that you didn't expect. You know, I would expect whatever the future is that for the court to be at the forefront.